Hello friends and relatives, this is Gibmaker playing Wild Wings 2. Here we are in the um, water plant. And we have been given the mission of helping to restore the water plant. I found a clearance card. So let's do that. Shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be a big deal. I can't budge this valve. Maybe it's under lock because of the main console. So here we go, Wild Wings 2. I don't have a diffusal kit. No, I'm not going to disarm the trap manually, because it never works. Well, I bet here's the point where I start to, you know, whine about my day. Well, I'm not going to do that. Keep an eye out, guys. There are monsters running around. They must have broken loose after the guards were killed. Building a plant in the middle of this crappy desert would have never seemed like a good idea to me. So, wow, big surprise, there's monsters in the dungeon. Here we are in the dungeon, the dungeon has the monsters. That's just the way it goes. Hmm. Okay, I see how it is. I was wondering for a second how the um, the collision detection worked. Oh my god, Soroko died. Oh boy, how many angel feathers, lots. Really gotta give him some better armor or something, but I gotta find it first. Uh, yeah. What are your skills? Your skills are just buffs. How about we will let Marina heal passively throughout this battle? You will use. Oh, I forget all the... So last time I played, I looked at all the um, entries in that... God, I forget what it's called. Character I can never remember his name. Eye patch guy. I looked at all these enemies in his computer, but now I don't remember the details. I remember that some of them... I think the slug is vulnerable to fire... And also, okay, the amount of life that I got back was pretty much trivial, but at least it killed him. Fire and ice, that's what the slugs are weak to, I think. Shit. I pretty much completely forget. Uh, no, no more buffs. Let's just attack these guys. Maybe Joseph should start putting regen on everyone in every battle. I wonder if that would be a good use of resources. Shades party emerged! In victorious form. Okay, now we're back up where uh, Steve or Alan, whatever his name was. But we're not finished with this area. So considering... Yep. Considering those guys are going to respawn after every single time I pass through the room, I see no point in thoroughly clearing them out since they'll just be back. Regen costs 28, but it could potentially fill up someone's health entirely over the course of a battle. 
Slugs burn, and then Soroko gets killed. Big surprise, Soroko sucks. Oh, battles. I'm really making this bottle of Panama Jacks last a while. Every time I do an episode of this Let's Play, I drink it. And if I use it up, well... I bought this bottle of French vanilla shit. It was gonna be a present for my brother. Christmas present, but maybe I'll just drink it myself! Fuck Christmas! Ooh, luscious tonics. You can revive an ally with all HP. Keep forgetting about Gridia Sap. Maybe I'll just sell it. Clearly, I don't intend to use it. That's odd. I just noticed the clearance card. You can use it from the menu. Doesn't do anything. Is that an accident, Jake? Should that item be usable from the menu? Fix your shit! Okay, so there's no enemies over on this side. Alright, before I go up to the top floor, maybe I'll keep looking around this floor. You know how to use the welder, right? One of the monsters might damage a pipeline one day. <laughs> okay. So floor two, behind bulkhead one. Head to the third floor for the main engines and computer console. If the console detects discrepancies, it will auto shut down. Also, don't forget to check the maintenance tunnels across the building. They are behind the vent covers. Archive item added. So that paper tells you everything you need to do. I can lift this vent. You did it. Oh, and I didn't need Buri to go through that one. This pipe's damaged. We have to find that welder before turning on the pumps. Okay, so I've got to do that later. No comments about the dead body. Stale beetles! You know what I haven't tried yet is, um... Getting into a story scene as Buri. Like, what if the next time something important happens... I am Buri at the time. Would that simply be silly? Oh man, Soroko also needs some HP back. Or MP, or I don't know. Needs a little bit of everything. Can I do this already? Oh right, there we go. Eat that mosquito, yo. Mm -mm. I think I might as well use stale beetles on Sirocco because his. Maximum health is so small to begin with. Wow, you really cut that barnacle. Everybody attack with your hands. I wasn't gonna spend money on another spell there. Because we won anyway. Okie dokie. 
Was I already down here? Yeah. Okay, I just went in a circle. Okay, so I guess I have seen all that there is to see. Except maybe whatever is straight ahead this way. See if I can duck around the table to get past that guy. Oh, that yeah, that just goes right up the middle to the back here. Okay, so we have seen everything that we can do so far on this floor. We will proceed uh, up higher. Oh. I should really remember to restore heal points outside of battle. Skill points, I mean. Are you tired of the same old hum de dum drum? Good, you died. I'm glad he's dead. Okay. Small items. Where's that heal? 50? Yes. There we go, that's how you refill your stats between battles. So I'm gonna try leaning on Joseph's regen for now. I'm so worried about running out of items though. I guess I can always backtrack to the town. Uh oh. What's this noise? Won't be able to open this. There must be some kind of button or computer I can fiddle with. You mean this one? Appears to be a slot. Okay, so you are supposed to use uh, the cards from your inventory. I used the clearance card. Uh, I don't want to hammer at the buttons. Watch out for the crates. Blood! I can see something that looks like a card behind this fan unit. Those blades look pretty sharp though. Okay, I guess I'm not coming back here until later. I wonder what happens if I get hit by a box. I really don't want to find out though. Obviously just punishment of some sort. Err, a big vault head door in the way. What do I do about it? What, what do the buttons do? Nothing? Uh-oh. I killed it. End of the game.
Look out, guys. Oh, a monster. Well, that's unfortunate. Damn, there's three of them this time. Maybe I can run away from these guys. Yeah, I can fight it out. I can stick it out. Who will regen this time? How about myself? I'll lower the attack of the two guys who I'm going to kill second. That we can enjoy most. Hey, icicles didn't do shit on him. Hmm, maybe it's just fire. Yeah, normal attack doesn't do crap. Pretty much gotta use skills. Uh, there we go. Who knows how much overkill that was. Damn, I'm going through my skill points too much! I mean, my skill healing items. So that complaint that I had close to the beginning, it's kind of resurfacing again. Is that the point where, pretty much to make any difference, every character has to use a skill every turn? Normal attacks just aren't doing it. And so I just burn through all my skill all my skill points and all my skill point restoring items. And because I don't want to do that, I just want to avoid combat entirely. That's no good because you need to do a little bit of combat. Oh, regen runs out pretty fast by the looks of it. That's too bad. I was hoping it would last a bit longer. Yeah, I think sticking to items in order to in order to regain health. I think that's the way to go. It's got to be items. Shade's normal attack sucks. Like, see there, I'm out of I'm out of stale scale mos stale mosquitoes. I'm out. There are no more. these stairs just go back down where I was yes <sighs> except wait there's another spot to use a card right here didn't I already try using the card here though and it didn't do anything oh wait it's, it's been consumed or something let me see take back the clearance card What happens if I use it here? Well, nothing, nothing happens there, but that looks like a slot, though. Yes, yeah, the exact same graphic is right here. If it's not a real slot, then it shouldn't look like one. Oh no, it's the LAN party. Wow, contains the energy this plant requires. Do any of the computers have an effect?
Oh, hey, there's the guy. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try approaching him as Buri. Sweet Nocturno, I thought you were one of those damn monsters. Okay. Well, nothing happens when you approach him. Uh, so that was not the sort of situation that I was talking about. Oh, hi. Look, don't sneak up on me like that. Um, this might be a dumb question, but you have seen the bodies littered around here, right? Yes. Yes, I have. Do I not look at least a little flustered? Just wondering. Surely you understand why I'm on edge here. Anyway, it seems like you still have work to do. Find the welder and use it on all the pipes that are busted. After you do that, you should find a couple of valves and turn them all the way clockwise. They're currently locked thanks to this console, but once it detects the pipes are fine, it should unlock the valves. When you're done with all that, come back to me and we'll sort some other crap out. Alright, thanks. If you forget all that, just give me the word. I would hope you don't, though. So hold on, what, did I, did I just pick up the welder yet, or no? Nay, I did not. What do I do here? I found a diffusal kit! Neat! There is no time to be bored. Okay, so obviously... I've got to get past... one of those doors. But how? Well, look here, everybody, if it isn't Wild Wings 2! I'm Gibmaker, so... Off-screen... Since the last bit of this episode, I reach out to the Wild Wings 2 community... And it turns out... Here's what you have to do. Card. You want to go into this room at the back here with that spinning fan that I didn't know what to do with. And well, here's what you do with it. You freeze it! And then you get the next card, and that's how you proceed. So I'd have never figured that one out. Also, since yesterday, I... First of all, went back to town and filled up my supply of... Uh, of mosquitoes and shit and beetles and... And then... I did a bunch of good old-fashioned grinding. So look at that. Sirocco's caught up with everyone else in terms of level. Uh, as you can see, I switched out the other two guys for Chinook and Dick. We'll give them a chance to be useful. Uh, I actually, I don't remember... I discovered when I went back out into the desert, there was a blue infinite healing point right at the entrance to the desert. Not the entrance entrance, but uh, about halfway through, right after that kind of midway building that I had to pass through. And I don't remember if it was always there or if it just appeared now that I've uh, made some more progress, now that I'm in the middle of the water plant. Maybe it only appears after that point. I don't know. But anyway... That makes that part of the desert a prime grinding spot. Because you can just auto-battle everybody, let them wear down your health and whatever, and then just run right back to the healing point. So that was great. That was just great. I've never been so happy. 
Of course, then I had some bullshit with OBS where there were problems with the, with the audio driver, so I had to figure out what that was all about, and I restarted the computer. I can't remove this card. It's stuck. Numbered buttons? What am I, a scientist? What was I just talking about? Oh yeah, I had to restart the computer and do all that crap. And while I poured myself the usual glass of Panama Jack to drink during this Let's Play, but it was all gone by the time I actually got around to starting, so I poured myself another glass. Maybe glass is an exaggeration. Several ounces. I poured another several ounces. And I'm almost out! So you know, there's that, that vanilla shit that I was gonna give to my brother for Christmas. Screw him, I'm just gonna drink it. I'll drink it myself. Because I want my cream liqueur. I want it. Fuck family. Fuck Christmas. I'll just get him coffee. I'll get him normal coffee. He likes that. Why did I make Sirocco do a regular attack? That was a dumb thing to do. That was the wrong choice. Anyway, I think I should get rid of... Now that Sirocco's caught up to the rest of the group, maybe I should get rid of him except for special occasions. Because he's really useless unless you use a skill every turn, and his skills are pretty expensive. 20 points each time. And that only did 35. Wow! Whereas Shade can do a cool 50 with just a regular attack. But, if I take Sirocco out of the party, he will no longer be getting experience and leveling up with everyone else, so... what do I do? Oh, great. Chinook is sad. What was good on these guys? Fire, I guess. Fire seems to be okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I've drained my entire MP bar. Just like that. Fuck you, Dell. Seriously, let me tell you about that stupid little pop-up. It won't budge. Well, why not, Shade? Why won't it budge? What did that do? Now it budges. Oh. Shit, I forgot to swap out Sirocco. Maybe I can run away. There we go. Marina's good at stuff. <sighs> right, so now I gotta figure out the deal with this part of the area. This must be where I find the welder. How's Chinook out? Oh, I bet while I was... No, no, that doesn't make... never mind. Everybody just shut up.
Fuck. Locked? Wait a minute. That switch must be what unlocks it. God damn it. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I can go in there. This dungeon is shaping up to be very long. So I already know all the steps that I'm going to have to take. Uh, uh, uh. Can I have the drink? No, okay. So I think I understand what's going on here. So, job control number, I don't think that's a clue to anything. Those are the buttons on the pad that have to be pressed. But it says mirrored, which means we will look at that pattern mirrored. That tells us which digits to press, but it does not suggest an order in which to press them. So the numbers are 2, 3, 6, and 7. I'm just going to try it, assuming that they're just in numerical order. That didn't work. Uh, do I have to try every single combination? Because uh, with four digits, that is... Uh, That's a lot. Uh, I just had two, six, seven, three, two, seven, three, six. Two, seven, six, three. Three, two, six, seven. I got it! Although I refuse to believe that you were just supposed to try every single combination until you got it. That seems highly improbable, or if that is what you're supposed to do, it's bad! I'd say in terms of having to brute force a number code... Uh-oh. Hey, kids! Welcome to Wild Wings 2. The Revenge. In Wild Wings 2, The Revenge, Shade Silverwing, a grizzled beat cop, penetrates deep into the cocaine racket. Using only his wits and a comical comic relief sidekick. Why did those guys take so long to die? I don't like it.
No, I don't need to heat up. Ah, I'm glad I didn't heat up. Okie dokie. Should I heal? Let's let's do it. Points for you, points for you, points for you. Beetles for everyone. Well, no. Beetles for only two people. Alright, I have to go handle the card. Uh... Now I'm finally gonna get that bullshit welder. Good thing it wasn't a f an emergency, huh? You have your emergency equipment sealed behind three layers of security. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to do. I have to... Having gone to all this trouble to get the welder, I next have to take it around the whole area and look for busted pipes. And use the welder on the busted pipes. After I do all of that, I then have to go around the whole area and look for valves. And turn the valves. And after that, who knows, there will probably be a boss. I don't remember. Curse. What does Curse do? I don't know. Let's try it out on that guy. Those metal barnacles look kind of like, um... What's that, that kind of, that pastry? It's kind of like a cookie... They always have them at those gourmet bakeries. They're little flaky cookies, but they're cut in half, and there's icing or something in the middle. It's like a little sandwich. And they're always different colors. When you go to the bakery, they always have kind of a, a whole arrangement, or like a rainbow of different colors of these things. I don't know what they're called. I've never bought one, because they're probably gross. Wow! Dick was pretty powerful. Why am I over here? Do I really need this chest? Yes, I do. Two tiger moths. Okay. I'll fight my way out. This fight doesn't look hard. Anyway, the metal barnacle makes me think of those things. Because it kind of looks like a little cookie-shaped sandwich, doesn't it? Like the teeth are the icing. Can't you see that? I wasted Dick's anger there. Okay, I'm charging straight out of here. Well, another thing I did off screen when I went to town was I managed to buy a new piece of armor. I got some gold armor and I gave that to Shade. Because he's the best, obviously. Is this it? Yay! Anything else in here? Okay. So here we go. Shade the repair bat! That's our new name. 
And what a cute name. Alright, anything else in this area? Any other pipes? I don't think so. so. If I miss one, I'm gonna sweep the whole the whole plant and look for damaged pipes. And if I miss a single one, then I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? Alright, I don't remember if there were uh any broken pipes in the eastern side. Uh, but I better go see. Of course, this area is really crowded with enemies. So I'm probably gonna wind up getting hit. No pipes in here. Should I toggle that switch? And check the other room just in case? Yeah, see that room is locked. Uh, 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 uh. I know, I'll use sap for once. And I'll Tiger Moth Marina, there you go. What do you think of that? Oh, yep, there's a pipe right there. Good thing I looked! Those monsters are running away from my disgusting face. Now, let me see if there was one to the north. Ow! I just got impatient. I shouldn't have. Well, I wonder how much damage that did. Hopefully not a shitload. Nah, not too much. Okay, no, nothing in here. Do -do 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 -do. Now why exactly are there crates being fired out of those little chutes anyway? You wanna explain that? You mind, uh... Coming up with some sort of fictional justification for that pointless indulgence. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. I like going down the other way because there are no guys. There's one thing I hate is guys. Alright, so I specifically remember there was at least one broken pipe somewhere along the left side of this room. Fuck! Ah, let's take these guys on. We can take them down. Fight! Mm. Bite! Uh, mm. I'm picking up barnacle shells. Okay, I suppose I was wrong about there being a pipe in that area. There must be one in a similar area, though. No, not in here. Any in the center? No. Oh, here it is. It was on this side. Don't feel like fighting these guys. You know they are pretty easy. Oh, 
Hope I don't burn my wing off. Are you serious? Snipe me while I'm welding? Don't do that. Okay, and... There must be one... I forget. Oh yeah, that goes there. Oh, you know where I didn't check? Way up on the top floor. I'll go there last though. First I'll check the front area. Oh, there it is. Now am I going to know when I got them all? Is there going to be an announcement or something? Or will I just have to go all the way back up to the control room and talk to Brad or whatever his name is? Save it while we're here. Okay, I'm going to presume that I got them all, and I'm going to head back up top. If you don't like it, well, feel free to fly into a fit of anger. Absolutely do that. Let's just say I have to say, what? Do you seriously need a recap? Okay, so what, did I miss one? Alright, I guess I missed a pipe somewhere. God damn it. It'd be great if there were a computer somewhere that would tell you, like, okay, four out of five pipes repaired. Oh, right. I have to do this fiddling. Maybe even optional clues for where you'd have to go to fix it. Is there a second punctured pipe in here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember now there was that vent to go through on the bottom floor. And there was a broken pipe in there. That's it. And here I was about to start writing angry emails to the creator of this game. Right there, that's the pipe. Shade, it's Stan. It looks like all the pipes are good now. Nice work. The next thing that needs to be done is turning the couple of valves so that the water will be able to flow again. Could you kind of hurry, though? Thanks. I understand now the guy's on edge, but sheesh. Oh, boy, the tension. Something's the matter. Oi, loi, 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 loi. How many valves were there? I specifically remember two. This one. I can't be sure there were only two. I guess I'll just check everywhere. Save it again, since I'm here. Ah, oh. ah, roaches! I can, I can auto battle these guys. I'm not afraid of you!
Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to at least... have Chinook cast Haste on Shade, and now I'll auto-battle. That will make him a bit more sprightly. in there. No valves in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was only the other one is over behind bulkhead one this way. And I think there's only these two. Okay, looks like the valves have been turned. Can you hear me down here? Yeah, uh, why? Should I be hearing running water or at least some machinery? Well, that's another thing. Look, come back up to the main computer console. We have to talk about the next task. This is a little tedious. Oh, should not have characters feeling that the game is tedious because then the player will also it's like this is exciting so what's up the machinery doesn't appear to be working at the moment I've done some deep troubleshooting after you turn the first valve some of the crystal circuits in the plant have been sabotaged sabotaged all things considered I knew this would happen there's some mean bastards skulking around this facility this is all a pointless exercise they are trying to torture me what are you talking about? Are you saying you've done something? No, and I'm telling the truth. This guy, whoever he is, is plain sadistic. I don't think he's the only one in here toying with us, neither. Well, we aren't just going to give up now. If you don't want to help anymore, just let me know and we'll escort you out. Don't be silly. You need a technician like me to help you out there. I'll come with you to the malfunctioning circuits. Please cover my back. That's what we're here for. Hold up. Where are these crystal circuits you're talking about? Just search for some tables that have a small hatch on them. The circuits are under those covers. It shouldn't be hard to fix, I hope. But yeah, I'll take care of them. Okay, yet another search every single room. Hooray! Woo! So a table that has a panel under it. Is it these little things? Yeah. Oh! I remember this. The crystals are arranged poorly and causing incorrect outputs. So all I have to do is rearrange them to self-insert into their proper color nodes. Doesn't sound terribly hard. Hey, the procedure is more complex than you think. You should be glad to have me right now. Alright, we'll get to it then. Please choose a color. Use the arrow keys to move the crystals of the color you have just chosen. Oh yeah. Okay. Yellow. Oh, whoops. I think I just screwed myself. Oh no. I can do that. The winner! Let's -a go find the others quickly. Alright. So, this area is even longer than I thought.
What are you doing? But this episode has already become quite long, so we will chop it here.